Jacqueline Sweet broke the story, these latest allegations for Patch.com. She joins us now. Jacqueline, thanks for being with us. Can you just walk us through the basics of, of what this veteran alleges that Santos, then known as Anthony DeVolder, promised him and ultimately what happened to the $3,000 that was raised through the GoFundMe? Thanks for having me. So this veteran told me that in 2000, 2016, at a period when he, when he, he was homeless, um, he was dealing with issues after being after leaving the Navy, uh, PTSD type of issues. He had a service dog that was extremely, extremely important to him. The dog developed a tumor um, that was life-threatening. He brought the dog to his normal vet practice and a, an employee there said, knew that he was struggling with the financial burden of the surgery, said, I know someone who can help you. And, and that person connected the veteran to Congressman Santos, who, and the veteran knew him as Anthony DeVolder. And Anthony DeVolder established a GoFundMe using the veteran's dog, um, using language about the veteran and how important the dog was to him. And through a combination of Anthony DeVolder and his network uh, um, through social media and the veteran and his, so his friends and family, they raised the money in two to three months, I believe, he told me. And the veteran was so excited. Um, but then he started getting different kinds of confusing roadblocks. Um, he says that Anthony DeVolder said he could only use a certain veterinarian. And then the veterinarian said, we can't operate, which was not what the original vet said. He started feeling like things weren't adding up. Right. And eventually just stopped answering his calls and the money was gone and that was it. Do you know if this is the only alleged charity scam that, that Santos is alleged to have been part of? So we don't know a lot about uh, Friends of Pets United or FOPU was the group that Congressman Santos called a charity. He even calls it a charity in the text to the veteran. He calls it a registered 501 charity and that was found and no one could find records of that once the, the New York Times report broke, people started looking into it. But we don't know a lot about the charity. Um, we know that there were all there are many fundraisers that he that he launched and that were shared in different places. We don't know a lot about where the dogs came from, where the money went. So I think there's a lot more to be uncovered about the animal charity. Yeah. What, what was his reaction, the veteran's reaction, when he saw Santo suddenly in the national media as a sitting congressman? So I've talked to a lot of people who knew the congressman firsthand years ago, and they all have their own very similar similar but different experiences. And many of them were just shocked to see him on on their TV and national headlines. And and they said, oh my gosh, that is the person that, like the veteran said, you saw him on TV. And it didn't quite click at first for him. He thought the face looked familiar. And then when the reports that he also went by Anthony DeVolder surfaced, that's when the veteran, he said, oh my goodness, this is the person who, who, who took my, my dog's money all those years ago. And, and he was shocked, but also not shocked because in 2016, you can see on his Facebook, he's, you know, he posted to all his friends, I'm sorry you guys supported me and donated money. I'm sorry to say that I was, that I was, that it was a fraud. Congressman Santos, did he give you a comment or uh, on any of your reporting? Um, no, so I've done, I've been covering a lot of stories um, and I've never gotten a response back except for one time and not on this story. So obviously we reached out for comment and the only comment that we've heard since was the one that you mentioned that he that he gave to Saba for, where, where he said he had no idea who, who this is, which I assume he's referring to the veteran. Right. Uh, wow. Jacqueline Sweet, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just ahead, we're going to have the latest on the 